3 and 0. <clears throat> Ooh, this is a horrible opening. Dear me. Let's do a queen side type thing.
Okay, pretty tasty. Have a look at the report analysis. Oh, we've got exactly the same. Um, two inaccuracies, zero, zero mistakes and four blunders, both for me and the opponent. That's quite good. Um, the percentages were slightly different though. 78% for me, 77% for the opponent. So yeah, quite interesting game. Um, could, have, could have petered out to a draw type thing, but I think the opponent's time just um, ran away from them. Take a quick shifty, see if there was anything major. Because each of the ev evaluations, it, I am trying to get it soaking in, trying to bring it into the practice um, in the next game if the concepts come up. Things like exchanging the rooks, that sort of thing, you know, not getting too arty with it, you know, because we, we don't want to over egg the pudding type thing, you know. And I think that occurred in this game. So we'll touch with the centre here. So it's looking pretty evenish here. Putting a check on the king. Capturing. Just coming back and attacking the knight. So it felt a little bit sombre, but then, it, oh yeah, around here it was. I thought I had some sort of plan in my head, you know, thinking, oh, well, yeah, I can just move the knight across and attack the queen. It didn't look like a very nice position for it. It's attacking a higher piece, so there's no, it didn't feel blunderous. It just felt, okay, what do I do next with that? So then the idea was to bring the bishop across just to basically try and pin through to the queen, see if we could get it that way. Yeah, but they moved first, so we captured. Yeah, so they were kind of out and out winning in that area. And then we captured. And then at this point I thought, well, this looks like it's going to be a little bit even if we're going for the rook exchanges. If it doesn't, then we're owning the files. So at that point I thought, well, we're back in the game again. So they pushed down onto the knight, but this time I wasn't being arty. Just taking the rook off, because we do have a check on the king. And just bring the knight through, just looking to exchange the bishops off if the bishop did take. And brought the knight around again, and it's like massive minus 3.8 here. So they captured, equalising the situation again. I wasn't too concerned about any of that. I was like thinking, well, if they do take, then I've got my pawn here, I've got my rooks, I've got my king, got my knight. Don't really see a big issue. And I didn't. I wondered what this bishop move was, but if you look at it, the bishop is attacking the rook. Maybe he didn't see that the knight was there, so we did capture, doubled their pawns, but we have to get a nice position to try and attempt to get rid of their rook and then coming on to the nice second rank helps out supporting the pawns so this was always going to to me was always going to be a, a draw in a sense but their time was running out so that was working in our favor but like i say i think if it had carried on i, I think really it would have been a draw so there's not much i'm going to get from this so yeah, nice game.